So today, we're going to take you around uh, a sports park. Um, as you can see, it's pretty impressive. Now, i got to be honest with you, I don't know what we're going to talk about today, but uh, let's go and see what happens. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go do it. Well, it's been a while since we posted our last video. We apologize. Yeah, sorry I feel like about that. I feel like we're always apologizing for not making enough videos. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we have a we have a good excuse this time. It's been melting in the heat. <laughs> We've been melting Obviously. in the heat. It's uh, been an extremely hot summer um, in Japan. It's like probably one of like a record breaking. Yeah, it's a record year, right? That's what. I'm and uh, what, typically, what is it now? It's probably over like eighty-seven. No, it's more than eighty. Ninety. In the nineties. Nineties and like probably eighty percent humidity. Okay. Yeah, it's it's 35, 36 degrees C, C right. uh, whatever that translates in your local uh, temperature <laughs> units. Yeah, <laughs> um, I believe that's in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's been very hot almost every day. I don't think I mean I never considered myself to be a guy that sweats a lot, but here I mean it's a different ball game. I mean, I'm sweating just standing here. Yeah, right exactly. Now. <laughs> you just stand here and you get sweaty. I mean. I'm I'm soaking through the back of my shirt. Yeah, it's pretty right disgusting. Yeah. But yeah, they've got some great products here for yeah. staying cool. Oh, that's a good um, point. That is a good point. The, they use towels a lot. Though. But yeah, they use a lot of towels. And towels. You'll see a lot of people Spicy. with you know towels around their necks. A lot yeah. of construction workers and things around town will have towels around the necks. And for me, I always thought, you know, why would I want a towel around my neck when mm -hmm. it's already like a hundred degrees outside? Yeah. Makes but sense. Though. It actually, actually keeps yeah. you a lot cooler. It can. Um, it can. It can. Yeah. Uh, but they also have these cool little body wipe things right. that really keep you cool. You wipe off all the sweat. It's got like this uh, minty yeah, menthol, menthol or like. something in it, so it makes you feel like you've. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like one of you, you biting into a York peppermint. <laughs> That's you know? right. Feel the breeze. <laughs> yeah, it's actually yeah. very refreshing. Um, yeah. They have these little uh, fever patch things. Oh yeah, people. yeah, yeah. They're like these little patches, and you put them on. If you're just hot, or right? Usually, fever, usually they're used for people who have fevers, but you know it's been yeah. so hot, people put them on their arms, on their <laughs> on their head. Um, <laughs> they should I come up with a suit. <laughs> they should, yeah. Awesome. Actually, there's there's a suit that has fans in it <laughs> that they're showcasing on TV the nice. other day. Nice. Yeah. As I sit here dripping. Yeah. Hey, let's um, let's teach some words, eh? Yeah. Uh, you know, since it's been a while, we thought we'd uh, kind of combine this episode not only a little bit about our experiences, but also, you know, a little bit of Japanese. Might as well. I mean, after all, it is. Uh, you know, we are in Japan, and after all, that's right. Yeah, might as well, right? Yeah. So let's see. What are some good summer words? Summer in Japan is, uh, or summer in Japanese, sorry, is natsu. Natsu, right? Um, it's very atsu. It's very hot. And it's very humid. It's mushi atsu. Mushi atsu. That's right. Mushi atsu. Um, it's not the character kanji character for bug. It's a. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's mushi like, is also a bug, which we are hearing a lot of in the that's background. Right. Mushi, right. Lots of, um, in particular, semi, semi, semi right, the right. cicadas. cicadas. Um, what else is there? There's a uh, jido hanbaiki, which is vending machine. You can you, the, the short way a lot of people is ji hanki. Right. Right. Japanese people love to shorten words. We've that's talked right. about that a lot in the past. Hey, we should we should go experience some of these uh, ji hankies over here. Like some right over here. I'm, oh yeah. So we'll Let's see. Let's take a tour. Right next to my house, there's actually a bank of uh, sake vending machines, <laughs> which is real nice if you run out of beer at night. Um, yeah, you can. Let's see. If you ever visit Aaron's house, you'll see him uh, hacking away at the vending machines, the beer <laughs> vending machines at 1 a.m. And you know, the funny thing about vending machines is actually that you would think, okay, why are they everywhere? Well, I think it, I was talking with Kevin. I think it has a lot to do with the weather because. It's so hot, even in your car, if you're driving on the way to, say, the park, your drink will probably heat up. I mean, granted, you'll probably be running AC, but after long, your drink heats up, and it's not as refreshing. So these things keep it nice and cool, or in the wintertime, they have ones that keep it nice and warm, too. Yeah, they've got these uh, awesome corn soup drinks. That, yeah, dude, those are, <laughs> those, those those are, those are bomb. Best, yeah. So we have all kinds of things here. My, I really like the lemon drinks. My favorite's over here, it's DC Lemon. I love this because it's lightly carbonated. <laughs> this stuff's the bomb. Yes. I actually have Gatorade here. I That's right. Gatorade in yeah. Places. Usually like, you see the Dakara and the uh, Aquarius and Pokari Sweat. That's right. Yeah. This one actually, now this is a coffee and you can get these. These are cold coffees. You can see it also it says cold in the, in the winter time. It'll say hot a lot of times. Right. Be but, careful not to get the hot ones when you want a cold one. Right. 
Easy, I've had that, easy mistake. I've had you that know, happen to me mo many times. Focus so hard on the kana that you miss the English. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I feel kind of stupid showing you how to use a vending machine because you know every time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, these things will save your life. Your That's Japan, true. You know, yeah. You never, you never know when you're going to be just completely thirsty. And uh, they're always heat stroke easily too. They're very convenient. Yes, yeah, very convenient of place. Very bendy. Yes. So earlier we were talking about uh, semi cicadas and just how prevalent they are around here, noisy. It's really the defining sound of summer here. Uh, and I'm going to try and find some here. Let's see if we can find some in the trees. Oh, there it is. There's one right on the, the tree trunk there. Oh, sure there we enough. go. There it is. Fly very erratically, too. Like, <laughs> they don't, when they do fly, it doesn't seem like it's on some predetermined flight plan. <laughs> Yeah, and they're actually, like Aaron was saying, they're actually pretty big. They're pretty big. Yeah, I think that one's about it, this big, right here, like that. Yeah. This is what it sounds like in Japan. Yep. Right. Especially when you're uh, in a heav heavily uh, wooded area mm -hmm. where uh, cicadas like to be. But, you know, it's almost the end of cicada season, so these guys will be dying soon. Yeah, it has gotten a little bit quieter. I feel like they're starting to die off already. Yeah, a lot of times when you're in the city, middle of Tokyo or something, there's not very many trees, you probably won't hear them. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, if you go into a more wooded area, maybe like over by Me Meiji Jingo where we uh, had introduced in the past, places yeah. like that, you'll probably hear them I think so. in the summertime. Yep. Well, let's go get some, uh, I don't know, let's go find something else. <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> Aaron was just talking about how manicured uh, the parks are here, and then, you know, you run across things like this clock here which look like they're in major need of repair hasn't been serviced since 1963 <laughs> so Probably. it's uh, one of those paradoxes I guess it is strange you know generally things are very clean but sometimes you run into some really run down stuff yep well, there's something interesting at the park that you find a lot especially when it comes to like kids playgrounds you get a lot of really really rad playground stuff this is like a really low end playground here but even at this playground, they have zip lines. Yes, real zip lines that actually work. They're not cordoned off. They haven't been taken down by the government. <laughs> Nothing. In the States, I don't know about where you, know, where you are living particularly, but uh, at least in Seattle, they take these things down and they've put up big like padded play areas now because they don't want to get sued for some kid breaking his leg or, leg or something. But here they've got real toys. So this is awesome stuff. All right, so Kevin's challenged me to a race, a zipline race, so we're going to do that here real fast. I won! <laughs> Let me uh, swing around here just briefly here to show the... Uh, Japanese man sitting behind us who thinks we're absolutely crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Finally, we're back in the AC. Thank goodness. In the car. Yes. But um, anyway, thanks for joining us as we did random stuff in the park. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> hopefully we'll have a more coherent episode. Again, I think the heat is getting to us. I think so. It really does affect your... Uh mental so they say. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, until next time, uh, I'm Kevin. And I'm Aaron. And this was Happy Hour Japan. Kanpai! Okay. Actually, that sounds horrible. That, that, no, that sounds really bad. <laughs>